Hey there everyone, Talking Tommy, coming at you from the usual dirty old town of Halifax, West Yorkshire. I say that right, Halifax, West Yorkshire. I tell you, I'm having one of those weekends. The housekeeping is Savinelli, the Bloons de Oro, in none other than my Savinelli Roma Lucite. Not a high-end pipe by any means, but a really, really good pipe. Um, so the purpose of this video, it's um, part two of the Beginner's Guide to Pipe Smoking that um, I started ages ago, <laughs> back in January, but then I didn't upload this first vid until April. <laughs> and now we're in August, so you never know. This might actually um, be uploaded by December, so yeah. In this video, we are going to, um, well we, we, me, I will be showing you the techniques that I employ for packing um, coin cut tobacco and plug tobacco. I remember when I first started out I used to look at anything that wasn't ready rubbed, I used to look at flakes, coin cut and plugs and just think what the fuck, <laughs> where do I even begin with that? Um, and this was before I'd even um, properly started with YouTube. Um, I wasn't a part of the community by now, I was occasionally lurking, um, watching videos, instructional videos, but I, I looked at those cuts of tobacco and just thought, what the hell, what the hell do I do with this? So yeah, um, so anyway, that's bye bye bye, but this is the purpose of that, so if it can help out at least one person, then that's good. So yeah, we're going to um, cut to those instructions in a moment. And then it'll cut back to this handsome fella. So, uh, enjoy. Okay guys, so first of all we're going to look at coin cut tobacco, also known as curly cut. Um, also known as Sliced Twist. Um, probably a few other names out there for it. Um, but yeah, I tend to just call them coins or curlies. <coughs> Excuse me. So first of all, um, there's usually a couple of different types of coin cuts you can find. Um, I'll go through these now. So I've got here some Roper's Roundels, which you'll have seen in one of my previous videos if you're an avid subscriber to my channel that is and I'll just take a couple of these out to show you the size of these so you've got these ones here which as you can see they're quite big quite big, quite wide they look a little bit like those licorice sweets or what were they called? Catherine wheels maybe? I oh, don't know, something like that. So there's a good look at those and in my backy flap I have some Savinelli doubloons de Oro which means golden coins as you can see these are quite a bit smaller in comparison now there's a few other ones that are like this, a lot of the McBaron Curlies are smaller um, as are um, Cabby's Mixture by Samuel Garwith but yeah, so they're a bit bashed up but they'll do for these demonstrative purposes so first of all I'll show you with the uh, Savinelli ones this is one technique you can use and 
it's pretty simple. Get your pipe here, you get a coin, and you just place the coin inside the ball and get another one, place it on top, and just push them down gently, and you just basically stack them like this. You can do this with three nuns, you can do this with cabbies mix, you can do this with any of the McBaron curlies. And what I also tend to do is I tend to get a little pinch of the rough bits and just sort of rub it out just a little bit. And I tend to just like place that on top, push it down a bit. So then I'll be able to get a good char on that. Test the airway. Yeah, absolutely fine. And there you have it. That's one way of dealing with coins. Now the reason I'm showing you the rope as roundels as well is because, as I mentioned, they're quite comparatively larger than the smaller coins. And so, you know, fitting one of these into a hole like that it just isn't going to happen, really. So I use a slightly different technique for these. And this is in no way definitive. This is just what I tend to do. So these I tend to take out the Cavendish heart. Would you call it a heart? I don't know. Centre. We'll call it centre. And then I tend to just rub it out coarsely. Plonk it in. And then I put in the Cavendish centre. And I take another one, again take out the centre, break it up a bit, stick some in, get the centre, pop it in, and then a bit more to top it off. And that's essentially all there is to it. I mean, this is just how I do it. The whole fun of a hobby is for you to go out there, discover your own techniques. You know, it wouldn't be fun if you just followed other people's ways. But yeah, test the airway. Again, clean as a whistle. So, those are two techniques for dealing with curlies, or coins, whichever you want to call them. Um, and like I say, they're just the techniques I've kind of picked up. The in no way definitive. You can find your own ways to do it as well. Just you know, some people just rub them out. Some people stack them. Some people might have their own kind of uh, fold and stuff version for these coins. I really don't know. A um, whole part of a hobby is, of course, discovering new ways for yourself. But yeah, so that's how I deal with coins. And in a moment, it's going to cut to plugs, so stay tuned. Cheers. Okay, so for plugs, um, there are two techniques that I currently use. Um, there's a few out there, but essentially they all kind of run into the same thing. So I've got some Salty Dogs plug here, which is a Dan Tobacco creation, and... A very nice one it is too. It's a vapour, but it also has a kind of rum topping. Um, it's really nice. So, for those of you not aware, this is what a plug looks like. It is very, very dense. It's just compressed tobacco. It's like a brick. Customs see that in your suitcase. When it's going through x-ray scanners, they are going to think the worst. So, essentially what you need is a sharp knife. So, I've got a pipe here, a Torben Dansk. Um, quite a shallow ball. Personally, I find plugs smoke a lot better in shallower balls. But, that's just my own findings. So, and really, the way to do this is to uh, cut it up so careful of fingers just 
so you basically cut slices off now you can cut slices into flakes so probably better to do one lengthwise for that Now my granddad told me, because he's an ex-pipe smoker as well, he told me that the way he used to do it, or the way his uh, grandfather I believe used to do it, was to just simply peel it like a spud. I'm not going to do that on camera, because if I cut my fingers open, you know, I'm going to look a right knob. So, you can just basically break apart the slice you've made like a flake and just rub it out like you would any other kind of flake oh this is quite a thick one I've cut off here but you know if that is the case don't be afraid to break it up even more with your knife you know no one's going to think any less of you or maybe they are we'll wait for the comments eh? so yeah and just break it up Rub it out as fine as you want to rub it out. And then once you're happy with how rubbed out it is, you just fill your pipe. And it's as simple as that. Now there's another technique I'm going to show you. And this is known as cube cut. And what you'd essentially do is, with the piece you've cut off, Cut it into smaller strips. Yeah. And then you cut those into little blocks like that. Essentially, you are cutting them into cubes. Tiny, tiny little cubes. And you might not believe me. You might want to try this technique out for yourself, but I tell you, you get such amazing flavour out of plugs when you smoke them this way. Cube cut is probably my favourite method of smoking plug. And because the burn rate on these is pretty slow, you get a nice, long, cool smoke. So if you've got the time for it, I would say cube cut. And again, you just take the cubes and you just pile them on in. Now, one thing I would say for cube cut, Again, you're going to want some form of kindling on top. So, get some of these rubbed out bits. Test the draw. Yep. Absolutely fine, and again, you're pretty much good to go. So, there you have it some techniques there. Um, this here, I've made a bit of a mess of this. You really do want to rub it out finer than that. But just to give you an example, I mean, and also because you don't need to sit there and watch me 
rubbing out tobacco for five minutes. You really don't. There's much better things, much more worthwhile things to do with your life than that. So yeah. But that is easy ways to deal with plugs. Sharp knife, plug of tobacco, like I say, cut them into slices, you can rub them out, you can cube cut them. But again, um, all part of the fun of the hobby is discovering new techniques. So get out there and do whatever you wish, just enjoy it. Here there again. So thanks for uh, staying the distance and watching those. Um, I hope that they are in some way coherent and that is in some way helpful. Um, I know not everyone's going to be interested by this video but like I said in the last one it is good to cover old ground um, especially with so many uh, newcomers to the community and everything and just newcomers to the hobby in general. I think it's good to document these things. You never know when the information is going to be useful. So thank you for watching. Um, quick shout out to the Bedford Pipe Club. Um, I was contacted by them and asked to promote or get the word out about their club. So here it is. You heard it here. I will put details to the Bedford Pipe Club in the bucket below. Anyone in the UK in the Bedford sh area should check them out. We've got a website and a Facebook page. So hopefully that could be something that you're interested in. I myself am quite a way away from Bedfordshire. However, um, I've, I'm going to look into trying to make at least a couple of the meetings in the future. So you never know. I might see you there. So with that, thank you for watching everyone, take care and until next time, I've been talking Tommy as usual, you've been wonderful as usual and I'll see you all really soon. Cheers!